popular misconception is that we tell all one planers to start the lawnmower in the backswing by pulling the right elbow up and behind them. The people that we do pull the right elbow up and behind them are the ones that slice. People that don't get their arms far enough behind them in the backswing and then pivot will slice the ball. Those people were trying to get the arms to get more behind them. So for that person, we might tell them that we want the right elbow to move up and behind you. Some players, like a Sergio Garcia, doesn't get his arms behind him until late in the backswing. His arms might be out here, and by the time he arrives to the top, the arms arrange deep behind him. Hunter Mahan, arms will get deep later. But for somebody who's slicing, we're trying to get their arms deeper, so we're going to tell them to pull the right elbow up and behind them. The only danger that we get, a lot of people show up at our golf schools, will pull the right elbow up and behind them, and they're right in there. You do need to have width in your backswing to where Jim talks about pulling the right, right elbow up and behind you, but he wants it to go up and behind you on a 45 degree angle, which will put some width into the left arm versus just pulling it up and behind you this way. So pulling the lawnmower with the right elbow, pulling the right elbow up and behind you, is good if you tend to slice the ball. If you hook the ball, I would recommend not doing that. <laughs>